Hi guys, buongiorno, what's up? So I hope you've been enjoying the YouTube videos that I have been putting out. And uh, since I'm not really traveling, I thought I'd do some travel related videos. So as you saw the video that I did on uh, the favorite uh, French expressions that you could use when you travel to France, I decided to do the Italian version. So I've got eight Italian expressions that you can use when you're traveling to um, to Italy anywhere, anytime in the future. Once again, I remind you guys that this is not really a communication guide you're not really going to speak Italian but if you learn these few expressions that you can get by in Italy it makes a big difference when you're communicating even in English so I'm not telling you to go and learn Italian unless you really want to but I suggest that when you are traveling to kind of learn a few expressions so that you know people that you're speaking to locals really feel that you've made an effort to kind of um, to adjust to their culture okay so um the first expression that i'm going to start with is buongiorno buongiorno and guys throughout the course of this video i'm going to add the words in the captions below so buongiorno is like good morning you can say it all the way till five in the evening good morning hi hello very universally used once again guys you don't really need to speak italian to know how to say buongiorno you can just say it anywhere at your hotel at a cafe at a restaurant or a shop I don't understand people who go to a country and who say hi back or hello in our own language when you know that the word is buongiorno. You don't need to be having a long conversation with them in Italian. But you can say buongiorno just to add a nice touch to your communication. So guys, please remember when you're traveling, learn some basic greetings and it really adds a nice touch. It uh, It's an icebreaker and you know, you really do come across as a tourist who has made an effort to pick up a few um, cultural elements as well. Second word, ciao. We all know the famous Italian word ciao. Now what's really fun in Italian is that ciao can be used universally, hi and bye. So you enter a shop, more it's definitely a little bit more informal than buongiorno, but you can say ciao to your friends. And the best part of it all is that you don't need to remember two words for hi and bye. Okay, like in English or in any other language, ciao is the same word for hi and bye. So ciao. Ciao, Dian, whatever. And then just before you leave, you say ciao. So guys, please remember that. Thank you. Thank you is grazie. Grazie and thank you very much is grazie mille. Grazie mille is thank you very much. So guys, remember this. You must always remember hi, thank you, please, etc. Um, so remember that grazie mille is thank you very much. Or if you don't remember the mille part, you can just say grazie. And obviously the response to that, if someone says grazie to you, you need to say you're welcome, is a very simple word called prego. Prego means you're welcome or whatever. And uh, you, it's a very, very commonly used expression. So please use the term prego all the time when someone's greeting you, prego or whatever, you're welcome. Or it's also used in the context of like, you know, please go ahead or you're welcome to do something. For example, if someone tells you, please enter, they'll say prego or, or you know, please enter the restaurant or please walk ahead of me or please jump the queue. It's like prego. So very, very commonly used expression in um, in Italian. Then we've got, uh, you want to say something that you don't understand. That's something that you have to learn how to say, I don't understand you in English. Um, all you need to say is non capisco, don't. Non is I don't and capisco is understand. So non capisco, which means I don't understand. So if someone's saying something to you, especially in smaller parts of Italy where they don't speak English, you can at least get the message across that you don't understand what they are saying. And then obviously you can ask for help from someone and then, you know, take the conversation from there. Uh, another, another expression that I really like to use and hence I'm gonna suggest is have a nice day. Have a nice day is buona giornata. Buona giornata. So buongiorno and then buona giornata is have a nice day. So that's a nice thing to say to the guys at your hotel or your Airbnb, or even if you go and buy something at a shop and just before leaving them, you say ciao, buona giornata, which which means have a nice day. So you could say that to a restaurant guy, a shop, anything. So you will hear people saying that buona giornata to you a lot. So you just respond buona giornata, buona giornata to, to you as well. Okay, finally, you need to know how to say excuse me. A very easy one in Italian. Excuse me is scusa mi, scusa mi or scusa, scusa excuse or excuse me, scusa, scusa me, whatever. Very easy, you can use it in multiple contexts 
whatever you want to say if you kind of someone's blocking your way in the metro or you want to just pass through or if you want to stop someone to say excuse me may i help me could you help me with something excuse me excuse me excuse me okay um what else would you learn yes um you need to learn to say i want i would like so just like i did it in french i mean this is an expression that you need to remember if wherever you go in italy i would like so the expression is vorrei vorrei is i would like vorrei so you can use it universally everywhere so you can say vorrei cappuccino vorrei espresso or what vorrei this or vorrei that i would like this i would like that so you can use it in any context uh, okay and finally expressions for water aqua not hard to remember that one aqua and another very important one which a lot of us are definitely going to remember when we travel to italy is vino 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 and uh, so there's two types of vino largely you can say vino bianco which is white wine vino bianco so if you want to say i want some white wine you can say vorrei un vino bianco i would like a white wine and red wine is vino rosso okay so you want to say i would like a red wine you say vorrei un vino rosso okay so ciao hopefully you've enjoyed this little video guys if any of you have been to italy and know some other expressions that you'd like to share with me i'm a student of italian so i'm learning every day too but i thought i'd share this with you guys if any of you have anything interesting that you guys have recently learned please leave a comment i'd love to hear from you please leave a comment please i'm going to try and respond to each of you individually i'm going to try and do more of these travel related content so uh, guys don't forget to like share and subscribe i'd love to hear from you please and uh, till my next video stay safe travel safe and i'm really hoping that we can all travel together soon